Hi, Darren here from guitar.com. Whilst there are various factors that will dictate the sound of an acoustic guitar, such as body shape, bracing and wood materials, there is perhaps no more important decision than choosing the right strings for your acoustic. Whilst undoubtedly an important choice on an electric guitar, on an acoustic, due to the lack of pickups to amplify the sound, the choice of string has a more significant influence on the tone. Today we're going to audition a few sets of Martin strings to help you decide which type of strings might be best for you. Traditionally, wound steel acoustic strings are made up of two main constituent parts, the core wire at the center of the string and the outer wrap wire, which are the materials wrapped around this core. Now, there are a few different string cores, each in part in different tonalities and feel, but the wrap wire is usually made from 80-20 bronze or phosphor bronze, but as we'll see a little later, there are some other options available too. Today we'll be demonstrating four different types of strings from the Martin string range. To test these, we'll be using two identical pairs of guitars. Two Martin D15Ms, which have all mahogany top, back and sides, and a pair of Martin OM21s, which have a rosewood back and sides and a spruce top. On this D15M, we have used a set of Martin 8020 Bronze, a light gauge 12 to 54 set. 8020 Bronze acoustic guitar strings are made using a bronze steel core wire, which then gets a bronze wrap wire. The 8020 designation simply means 80% of the wrap wire is made of copper and 20% of zinc. Until relatively recently, bronze was one of the most popular alloys used for wrap material, until the introduction of phosphor bronze strings in the 70s. Probably the less popular of the two alloys these days, it has a shorter lifespan compared to phosphor bronze. Bronze are considered to produce a crisp, bright tone with plenty of bass. Therefore, they cover a wide range of playing styles, but work particularly well for strumming open chords. We've recorded two examples here using the Martin Original Bronze 8020 series, one a finger-picked example and one a strumming example. On this D15M, we have a set of Martin's Authentic Acoustic Range, a phosphor bronze signature set made for acoustic guitar virtuoso Tommy Emmanuel. The Tommy Emmanuel Phosphor Bronze set uses Martin's Flexible Core, which is an advanced thin wire core that Martin say increases flexibility and improves sustain. The increased flexibility is of course essential for the virtuoso that is Tommy Emmanuel, who continues to prove that what's possible on an electric is also possible on acoustic. Phosphor Bronze quickly supplanted 80-20 Bronze in popularity once it hit the market. They are more corrosion resistant compared to Bronze and consequently have a longer overall lifespan, producing consistent tones over a longer period. Tonally, Phosphor Bronze are very similar to Bronze but considered to have a slightly darker fuller tone and a little more warmth. Here's a few musical examples using these strings.
We're also testing out strings from Martin's new Lux range. And for this, we are using a pair of Martin OM21s, which have an East Indian rosewood back and sides and a spruce top. On this guitar is a set of Lux Cova. The string core here is Martin's highest tensile strength, which is then tin plated to provide corrosion resistance. A Cova refers to the nickel cobalt alloy, which is used for the wrap wire. It's not commonly used in guitar string manufacture, but Martin claim they are easier to fret due to their lower tension when compared to bronze or phosphor bronze, therefore leading to less fatigue, which should prove beneficial for those players like myself who play acoustic less than electric. The Kovar itself is more hard wearing and less susceptible to corrosion, as it doesn't react to the oils in your skin like other strings, and as a direct consequence will remain brighter for a longer period of time. Indeed, these strings have been on here for around three weeks with little to no degradation of tone or feel. Martin also say that these strings complement acoustic guitars with magnetic pickups, which makes sense given that most electric strings are nickel coated. Tonally, the Lux Kovar are somewhere between Monel and Phosphor Bronze, providing a balanced response that's bright but not brittle and warm enough without being too bass heavy. Let's hear what they sound like. The set we're using on this OM21 is the Lux Titanium Cores. These strings use titanium for the core and nickel for the wrap wire. Titanium is more flexible than steel, but equally as strong and provides the most superior intonation and tune instability of any string on the market. Titanium is highly corrosion resistant and has the highest strength to density ratio of any metal. Martin's patented special winding process maximizes coupling between the wrap wire and the round titanium core while also preventing stress on the core wire at the ball end. So whilst these strings are comparatively expensive, they should prove to be very long lasting. Let's hear what they sound like.
So there we go. Hopefully you'll find these comparisons useful and we'll see you next time.